This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Nick Bowett to open up so we get the same opening combination that we saw before. Abbas Kawa is going to open up. Rob looks like he's woken up from his nap and he said he's ready for some more cricket. Well, Rob, I'm ready if you're ready. Here we go with match 32. Starting with a no ball. We'll have to check the feet here. Anyway, what a shot from Mary. He just sweeps it. Out of nowhere, all the way, Maximo, first one of the game. It's straight back over the umpire's hat, that's going to be four. Low full toss, worked away, and that's going to be four. Still in the power play, only two outfielders allowed at this point in time. Fraction short, Mary loves it there, doesn't he? Not even that short, really, but he's so good at picking up the length. And Maximo sees Carreras. Well, it's straight. There's another umpire killer. A little bit short, missed time pull, hangs up in the air and gone. Nicely taken, so Kasim basically rolls the dice with the short ball and says to Mary, all right, you want to go that way? Pull this. And you can see he was just maybe a fraction late on the shot. That turned in his hand. Simple catch in the end. It was an opportunity. Now Manic Bauer is going to make him pay with the boundary. Traditionally held in Malta, this year be held in France. Manic Bauer, now he's going to hold out. And Kasim, he's fielded very well so far. Mitri will remove both openers now as Menik Boa goes for 17. Misha Zaduma, didn't have to wait too long to get his man. But the Vipers lose a second wicket now. A good decision for Daniel to, <laughs> to get back. But anyway, right now we're seeing one of the thicker edges going around by Amingul. He'll go maximal. How's this for a way to get off the mark? All right, this one is in the air and going to carry Maximo. He goes the hook this time, hanging up in the air. And another good catch. He hits Arslan, who's been busy. He's probably saying, was that my catch? And keeps saying, yeah. And I think you're going to get there before I would. And two Arslans there, actually. Arslans are far behind the stumps. It's Mohamed Arslan that takes another catch. Now, this one is high, but he's got plenty of it. Maximo. Now, goes over the offside. He likes that too, Chowdhury. Goes back to back. Maximals. Cut away. Anyway, here's over nine. Shafiq comes back. Well hit by Chowdhury, that one's out of here. Maximo! Alright, this is going to be a thick edge flying away. Knocked out the middle stump. That's how you finish your spell, Shafiq. Probably pretty disappointed and he doesn't have too much to show for it. But I like this bowling. It's full, it's straight. Middle stump. Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> All right, end of the bat job from Chowdhury in the air. And it's still going to carry well. This shows you the bat speed he's got. Now he's going to go the old no-look hook shot. And that's going to travel as well. Maximo, back to bat. Well, Chowdhury, he wants his 50, and he's going to get it. Or is he? Well, this will be an interesting one. He's going to hustle back for two. Have to go really slow. The step before he touches it, I think, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, he stepped out. So that will be... It will be his 50. Yeah, so back on field, we can see Chowdhury does bring up his 50 then. And he does it off 21 balls. Nice way for him to bring it up. Yeah, Chowdhury certainly has played some nice shots. Yeah, it goes in that region again. We keen to try and get back, but we won't be able to. Oh, well, he'll try, and he's going to get run out in the end. Well, it looks like a pad blowout there. Chowdhury does end up with his second half century of the season, and then he'll go trying to, try to sneak, sneak attack the strike back. Good innings, though. Here's the last ball. <laughs> Lifted up. Well, this is Isan Ulamari. Well, he's going to join the party as well. He'll edge a six. Everybody's doing it. Maximo and one, two, six will be the score for the Vipers. It's the Vipers taking on Mitri here. Mitri uh, coming out to bat, chasing 127 for victory after the Vipers scored 126 in the first innings. Almost ready for a start. Aslan Zafar. We'll get one down the leg side first up. That will be called wide. Now this is hit straight, but it's hit very, very, very high. And a perfect club selection in the end. Now it just punched over cover, and that's going to be six as well. Maximo! So just the start that Mitri were hoping for. Not the worst ball, but nice shot. And nothing sloggy about this shot from Zafar. Now goes leg side. This is good power as well. Going, going, and gone. Maximo! Now he does kind of deal with the bounce here. And that's going to fly all the way. Maximo! Fifth time lucky, as they say in the classics. Again, this is one he has to kind of go tiptoes. Shot. Up and out of here. A little bit short, but Omar jumps all over it, and that's out of here. Maximo. Pitches up, and he takes it on. He pumps it. That's large. Maximo. Now, Omar, after a few misses, you can see why Zafar said to him, look, don't worry about it. Three or four dot balls, it happens. You're good enough to make it up. But now, absolutely going to town. Now goes after it, but it's up in the air. Three going to chase it, but Paul's going to win the race to the boundary. It'll be four runs. Hit down the ground, and that's going to be four as well. So the 50 comes up off the last ball, the power play, and the 50 partnership. Really heating up. Have a look at how... Maybe this... Well, maybe we won't get a, another look at it because that's going to be gone. It's a little edge, and so it's going to be six and out for Arsene Zafar. And the keeper does the rest, kind of round the wicket angle, pushes it across him. Come on, mate. Come on, boy. Right, that one is a real blast from Omet. He's come good, hasn't he? Now goes straight again. He's on the charge, but the fielder comes around. Can't do anything about it. Maximo, back to back. Romeo putting his stamp of authority on this chase. Pushes this through, but fast hands from Omar. Maximo. Oh, yeah. That was hit with some force, wasn't it? Really fast hands there. Now he's going to go. He just goes the well once too often. They'll feel they're still in this game, the Vipers. They have... 
basically goes to the well once too often, doesn't he? Tries to hit across the ball. It's pretty straight. And Nasseri will be the man that gets the breakthrough. It's 80 for two. And goes and fetches this, but he's skied it and he's going to be caught. The panda kale. And goes fishing outside the off stump. And all he catches is the trip back to the dressing room. And if Boat will get the wicket and Mitri. It's hitting a bit of a rough spot in this chase. I mean, it's probably outside the tram line. Coming out at number five. Is there a twist in this? Well, he's just going to come out. He's going to absolutely slam the first ball over the leg side. Maximo. Still top balls a win for the fielders. A bit slower this time from the series. That's in the gap. That'll be four. Oh, that's a, a thin edge that's going to run down the hill. That's going to be four. And it's coming up in about 35 minutes' time. Right, 27 to win off the last three overs. And Nick Moe is going to get a sky ball. It's going to be taken. Oh, there you go. Yes, here it goes now. They had to kind of pack that, that side of the field, encouraging him to, to bowl outside the off stump. And that's exactly what he does. Zafar gets a hit. And hits what he's going to do. Maxwell, what a shot first up. Oh, well. There's one of them. Aslan swings across it. Maybe a bit of life in this game yet. It'll be a fifth one down, 107 for five. Aslan just hits across the ball in the off stump. Hey, hey what sort of a shot's that? Look at the game situation. <laughs> Pretty expressive from his batting partner. Right, hit down the ground, Kazim comes in and well, he's not wasting too much time at all. That's out of the ground, Maximo. Six to win. That'll do it, Maximo. So Mitri, they're going to do it with nine balls remaining. And the Vipers have a tough day at the office here on Sunday. And uh, they're saying, is that it? They go, yeah, that's it. So... There's one point out of a possible eight, Mitri. We'll see them later on. They've got a clash in the fourth game of the day against Royal 94.